Bootsy, grab a phone roller. <clears throat> I want to make sure you're in camera. Do you guys just do the thing? Do the thing. Are you, can you see us doing the rows? I'm going to have to go that way. That's why I'm going to man the camera. Perfect. Yeah. All right. We're following a new school paradigm for our, uh, for our warm ups release, length, and strengthen, activate. And when I say release, length, and strengthen, I'm talking about muscles and movement patterns, activate. Activate the, muscle, the muscles, the movement patterns, and the nervous system. Let's do it. Upper body. We're on the foam roller. We are in extension, our hips up. So, we are riding the thoracic spine with our arms overhead, rolling just that upper back. Going to roll about six to ten passes. I can feel some popping. You're stopping underneath your shoulder blades? Uh, stopping uh, at the top of the shoulder blade before I hit my cervical spine, and stopping uh, before I hit my low back on the bottom. Then, the hips are still up, crossing my arms, tucking my chin, keeping, I like to pull my head gently, but I'm keeping a rounded spine now. And I'm getting my shoulder blades out of the way, that's why we're hugging ourselves. Hips are up, again, just a few passes. Shoulder blades out of the way, meaning I'm on directly on my spine? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Paraspinals, to be more specific. And then, I'm going to sit down. Going back into extension, this time my, my ribcage is going to be lifted, so I'm not uh, keeping my hips off the ground, I'm just rolling the upper back in gentle extension, oscillating back and forth, right around the shoulder blade area. Head position. Head position is, is my neck is long. I'm not falling into, into extension. I'm just active. So I'm not like, like trying to touch my head to the floor. I'm just lengthening my upper back. Those three different positions force you to lengthen the spot. That third one? I'm not sure I'm doing it right. I know, it really hurts my neck. Um, yeah. I'm also choking me. So on the third one, I don't. I don't pass tennis ball length. So on my head is neutral, it's not like it's not hanging. My head's not hanging. No. But but no, I'm saying it is not. It is okay. it's not that's not what's happening. Okay. So yeah. what, what are you, what part of your neck hurts? Here. Here. The from just holding the neck in that position. Oh. I'm gonna straighten my necks. <laughs> Step one. Yeah. Spine. But with the roller, the, the position of between the roller and where you start and stop is the same for all three. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. I my neck is irritated holding it up, but it's not it's not painful. Like I feel stress in the cervical flexors. That's normal when you're doing a crunch. Anytime you have to manipulate your head, it's normal to feel that irritation. So we've just released the rhomboids and lats. Uh, on the T-spine. Now, we are going to stretch the wrong way to lats in the T-spine. You can do this with one ring, or two TRX straps, or uh, the, uh, the, rat, the rig. All you have to do is, it's the same position no matter what you're using. I'm going to grab a fixed position, tuck my, I'm going to tuck my ribs, so I'm pulling my rib cage down, away from this object, so I'm creating a lat and um, uh, whatever else stretch, rhomboids. Once I get this flat stretch, I'm going to wiggle from side to side, leading with the hips. So I'm letting the, letting the hips shift me from side to side. So it's kind of a cockeyed stretch. That's good. Leading with the hips, not with the whole body. I'm just swaying back and forth, opening up the, the lats from the hip attachment point. No, no, he's going to be bad. But if yeah, you're... there you go. This bit. Wiggle more at the hip so like you're trying to pull the hip bone away from the armpit. Yeah, better. <laughs> yeah, totally. So you're very <laughs> yeah. hinged. You're very hinged. So I'm I'm, back. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit further. Yeah. Good. They pull the ribcage down, right? So grab out that little back. Okay, now I feel it in my lats. There you go. 
I'm just doing this. We're going back and forth. It, the oh, you're, oh, okay. You're not. You're not like You're just moving your hand. Yeah. You're just trying to pull that hip bone away from that armpit to create. Oh, so you're not shifting the weight back and forth. You're just moving. Yeah, you, you can shift it later on once you get more of a uh, lift. But that's enough for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now that's different. That's way different. Yeah, it's weird, right? So you got to experience that. So we just did our T spine. Now we open up the lat, and then now it's face full, full part, lower, under. This is like a uh, oh no, just kidding. So we have, uh, lat stretch, or lat roll, lat stretch. Now we're gonna do a T spine extension. So we're here. Gonna do ten on each side. Expanding that rotation. Now I thought in the other video you had flat feet. Your, your, the shoelaces of your feet were down the ground. The hips, the hips need to be on the heels. Don't pay attention to what the feet are doing. It's going to irritate, and without a pad, it's going to irritate my knee if I do that. Okay. I mean, good attention to detail. That's not the detail. We asks, will get questions. If someone asks, either way is fine. stretched it, then we activated it. Now we're going to activate it in three different planes of motion, or three different movement patterns. The pull part, the over under, and the face pull. Face pull, you should be an expert at. Everybody's done a bunch of these. So, we're going to do three sets of ten. Just like we do in a Larson warm up, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So it doesn't need to be super extreme, just elbows lift. Are we rotating the hands with every breath? I do. Uh, okay. Lift, lift and contract the shoulder blades. Then. When, when we teach this stance for that, we're always saying. Always, always staggered stance whenever you're trying to pull back so it's easier. But you can be parallel. I don't use a lot of tension, so I'll do parallel stance out of convenience. Okay. So if you see people like falling, like if you see somebody adjust their position like six times, they can't, they need to the anchor. Okay. That's what's happening. Over-unders, create tension. 10 over, 10 under. So 10 on each side, just a mild tension, doesn't have to be a lot of stress. 10, 10, then 10 pull parts. Palms facing down, squeezing shoulder blades. 10 reps. You guys gonna do them? Or? Yeah. We're sure. <laughs> the reason why when you do them is timing. You wanna see how long it takes to actually do them. Three times. We're supposed to go through this circuit three times through. Yep. It's pre-fatiguing. What we'll do is... When I, mean, we, I mean, in terms of time. Hold this, we'll see. Well, that's why I want to do that. So it's, you got to stress test, right? I'm not counting. Four. <laughs> you were going before you made it. <laughs> um, uh, this is a brutal... This is brutal training for somebody who needs shoulder stability work. It's really yes. hard, aka me and most of the pop population. Okay, it's really hard. It's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather have them burn out and fatigue on this and get the medicine and do less barbell stuff until this becomes easy. <laughs> that's the that's the point. Like um, my first couple of weeks doing this stuff, like I'm shaking halfway through, not even like a third of the way through my workout, and it's like because I've not been doing this stuff. Powerlifting too long without paying attention to these things. And then two weeks of it, and I adapt, and shoulder feels great, body feels great. Um, okay, yeah, we're going to get a lot of complaints about the shoulder over under. 
the because of the slipping and the popping? Uh, because it, I because mean, it sucks. It hurts. <laughs> I mean, it hurts me. Yeah. And is it physically hard or like it causes you pain? Um, causes me a little pain. Oh. Where do you feel?
times through? Two times. Two times. Fifteen minutes on the nose, complaining included. Okay. Questions, comments, concerns? The rolling the T-spine. So just coach them to keep their chin tucked. Here's Brian. He's coming for you. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, keeping. Hey. Brother! Good to see you, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>